guys, welcome back to another episode. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make a super cool model I designed. You're never gonna guess what it is. It's actually a tree. I know you probably want. I know you. I don't know this, but I'm. I know I have made a lot of origami people lately, if not none. So, I made an origami ballerina. Pretty cool, right? With a dress, with pants, shorts, and hair, and uh, um, arms and legs, and I don't know what these are. I'm just gonna put these down. Anyways, um, let's see if actually flaps. Let's put it that way. Anyways, I'll be using a sheet of Korean hanji from origamishop.com. I'd recommend using a very thin sheet of paper. I made this one out of tight back in Kataiuniru. And um, it has to be somewhat big. I'd recommend at least 24 by 24 centimeters, so somewhat, so at least medium size, not like a six inch square. You're gonna start by making a, tw a 32 by 32 grid. To start, what you're gonna, what? You're gonna start white side up and fold in half. Unfold and fold the edge to the middle. Make sure to crease sharply. And this is a pretty complex model. Not too hard, but I would not, absolutely not recommend this for beginners, especially the shape-in. Okay, oops, let me the angle a bit. There we go. Okay, now I'll repeat in this direction once you rotate 90 degrees. Okay, rotate 90 degrees and fold the edge to the middle. Middle, yeah. Then, Fold the, that same edge to the first crease, or the crease you just made. Now, take this. Now, repeat. And once more. I recommend using black and I recommend using Thai Uniru or Uniru Mulberry, or any type of mulberry paper or Uniru paper. They work best for this, in my opinion. Then, you're gonna fold, unfold almost completely and fold that the ed original edge up to the last crease. And repeat. Completely unfold. Rotate 90 degrees and repeat completely. Okay, now completely unfold and rotate 90 degrees. And you're gonna repeat the first step, the first part of it, like normal. Actually, I made a mistake. Feel free to, it depends. I don't really care what side up, but you're actually supposed to start color side up. Sorry about that. I feel really bad. But this is, should be a double sided paper or as in like a double color paper, a duo color paper. I don't, that's what I'd recommend. Now, fold up to the halfway point between this crease and this edge, which is right above the, the, the last non-fold of these two mountain folds. So right here. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you like these videos. And just so you know, I'm not, uh, I do not, uh, I'm not saying that all women are, all, all ballerinas are women. I'm, it's just the easiest figure to make for me. I do not believe in that stuff. And if I do, feel free to tell me. I will try to change as much as I can. I do not believe that, like, boys should like blue and women should like pink and all about that. It just doesn't make sense to me. I think anyone can believe in what they believe in. I believe in what they believe in, but like what they like, you know?
Okay, you're gonna repeat in this direction once you rotate 90 degrees. I recommend having a decent amount of experience in box plate models to, to complete this model, to do this model. If you don't know how to do a box, how, if you don't know how to box plate model, or you want a simpler version first, make sure to check out my, um, feel free, to, I'd recommend checking out my Praying Mantis tutorial. That one's a lot easier than this one, and it will, and it will be, and it will be a good warm up for you learning how to box plate. I'll explain it just as well in this one. There's a lot more harder stuff. You quite, quite a few more harder steps. Okay, now what you're gonna do is we're gonna start pre-greasing. To start pre-greasing, you're gonna fold from this corner. One, two, three, four. Wait, one sec. You're gonna fold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Let me do the math. Um, 13, 14 squares, I believe. I could be wrong. No, no, you're going to fold completely um, in half. But you're actually not... I mean, you're going to fold this the corner, the corner to the corner of the diagonal from it. Except you're only going to fold up to halfway. Which I believe it's over here. No, it isn't. I've got to go further. Okay, now repeat in the other direction. Ta-da. Now, what you're gonna do is you are gonna, um, let me do the math, one sec. Um, Let me just count eight real quick. There we go. Okay, so now what we're gonna do actually is this might be a bit different from the original model because I don't remember it that well, but I'll try to do the best I can, okay? You're gonna fold, um, you're basically gonna fold along this crease that, that folds halfway. And you're gonna fold um, you're basically gonna fold, um, this edge to this crease, basically folding along the first crease line. And then, fold this corner to here. Unfold. Now, fold this edge, two more up, and then another two up. So you're folding four more up. And repeat from the corner to the to the end of that to the first intersection. Repeat again. Let me zoom in probably. Let me zoom in. That might make it easier. Sorry about that. Unfold. And then repeat once more. So there's gonna be four of those little V thingies. Okay, unfold. Now, you're gonna rotate 90, sorry, 180 degrees and repeat on the other side. So, let me just change the camera a little bit. So, you're gonna fold, you're gonna fold up to the first, sorry, second crease line and take the corner and fold it to the first intersection that goes exactly diagonal from it. Like a right angle, basically. Not right angle, 45 degree angle. Then, fold up four more and repeat and so on, just like last time. Last one. <laughs> Almost in the pre creasing. Yay, the boring pre creasing. Okay, <laughs> and unfold. 
Now the last thing we have to do for the basics pre-greasing, well the last few things I should say, is we have to, um, let's see, we actually are going to um, fold in half in the other direction and repeat, but just on the left side. If you're, you know, it depends. If you're, um, it depends what direction you're holding it or your, the position it's in. If you have this crease on the right side, then you do the, then you only do it on the le on the left half. Oh, sorry, you, if you have it on the right side, you rotate 90 degrees um, counterclockwise, and you're gonna um and or do the same thing. If you have it like this um um and you and this, this is on the left side, then you rotate 90 degrees clockwise. Whatever it is. It's gonna need to look the same. Anyways, you're gonna now do that same step we did the last two times. I'm going to make one here. Sorry, I try. I feel like I showed you guys enough. So if I, I don't explain it as much, or you want me to, um, if you want me to, um, slow down, then you can, um, then it's fine. If you want to, um, it's totally fine. If you want to, um, 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 if you, it's totally fine if you want to rewind. Okay, now completely unfold. And the last couple pieces of pre crease, pre crease in. And the rest we can just collapse on its way in. Okay, you're basically gonna take this corner and you are going to um, fold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight grid squares that go diagonally on a right angle. Not right for the last time. Um, Not right. Um, Come on, you're better than this. Um. 45 degree angle. I can sound confused my math with my origami. Far and right. Six, seven, eight. Perfect. And repeat in the other direction. And our pre piecing is basically done. So let me zoom out a little bit. One more. Now we're gonna start collapsing. So we're gonna start by folding the um the edge the, the edge down. And you're gonna want it held like this. Start by making a you're gonna start by pleat sinking it except you're gonna do it only twice so you're basically gonna um you're basically gonna make a fold like this So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take this, flatten it, somewhat, we're just going to find it on the, on the bottom. <coughs> okay, now, what we're going to do is we are going to... Start making um um what's it called a layer shift. So we're gonna count one, two, three, four squares, and we are gonna um hold it like this. 
some level layers, if not really. Shift. Um. Please don't auto affect YouTube. Um. Anyways. Um. Auto caption. You get it. Um. What we do now is we're going to repeat on the other side. Not really a layer shift, but you get it. One, two, three, four. And now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold it like this. It's hard to explain, basically. We're gonna fold um, it so that this, um, basically, so that this at e this creek edge and this edge wrap around that mountain fold. The mountain voles wrap around each other, basically. It's hard to explain, but I think you get the point, hopefully. And then, what you're gonna do, is you're gonna hold this that up by one, and then, we have our layer shift. Now, guys, I changed my mind about what I'm gonna do for 30 subscribers. Let's, I'm gonna be honest. I didn't. I was gonna make a lion, and I don't think that that got too boring. So instead, I'm gonna make a, a, a um a scale dragon, but knight. Not any scale dragon, like a scale dragon person, a dragon lord or something in armor. So that's how I'm gonna get 30 subscribers. And I know you guys are very getting probably impatient about my scale dragon. I'm working on it. Like I said, the first method was super frustrating, and I could not make a tutorial on it. But what I will show you is a, a cooler method that's just uh, just as good cooler method that's easier. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. But we're going back to Valerina. Like that. like that and then what we're gonna do okay so now what we're gonna do is we are actually going to start the um the um other level shifters, or whatever they're called, diamonds as I like to call them. We're gonna do four, the four of those we did. Okay, let me show it a bit better. And then, what we're gonna do, is we, we're gonna repeat on the other side. Anyways, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna keep it like this, and then we're gonna work a bit more. We're gonna start working a bit. We're gonna fold this. Actually, no. We're gonna work a bit more on the um um on this part. So now we're gonna fold. We're gonna make some more pleats, actually. one but we're actually gonna make two for now then what we're gonna do is we are going to take this what looks like a triangle and turn it into a straight edge so what they're gonna stay diagonal to lock itself into place so we're gonna fold it like this 
and then we're gonna do that. It's hard to explain, basically. It's hard to explain, basically we're gonna, it used to be this, now we're gonna, one sec. Now we're gonna push, we're gonna fold this as an unfold and push it together, making another flap. We're gonna repeat that on the other side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish the pleats. So, but this time we're actually gonna make some of these um these um the points of these turn into flaps actually. Like I said, the best I can. If you don't see it, well, just tell me in the comments and I'll remake the video. Oh guys, speaking of um, um things that don't seem right, I'm not going to things that don't seem right, but things that um that people believe are are right but are are not right. Um, make sure to hit that like button if you want to stop sexism, or people believing that that only boys or only girls can do one something that just doesn't seem right, honestly. And we have this part, which you might be able to tell is the arms. And you might be wondering what this part is. We're actually gonna fix that up right now. So now, we're gonna make a few more creases like that. One sec. And we have the head. Let me just fix it up a bit more. Make sure it looks good. You know. Okay. So now, um, Um, now, what you're gonna do is we have what we have. We actually are pretty close to being done with the collapsing, believe it or not. We're doing pretty good on time. Yes, make sure the head looks good. So now what you're gonna do, we have, basically we have almost everything collapsed actually. 
thing is, we don't, the only thing we don't have to collapse actually is the legs. So that's pretty simple. We're just gonna make uh, that pleat sink we made earlier for the, um, that, the, the diagonal grease we did at the very end, the pre-greasing, simple. Easy, awesome. And now, we're almost done, yay. We're just gonna do a few more pleat sinks. And now we just pinch these flaps together. We have our base collapsed, our ballerina base at least. Now, like I said, this isn't exactly the original model. In fact, it's actually better, but you get the point. Okay, so now we have the two legs, the dress, the um, or whatever, whatever they wear. Um, the um, the arms, the hair, and the head, which is everything. Now. We're gonna do some shaping, but actually, I don't have time for that. So I'll see you um, in a sec, or I'll see you in for part two. Bye. Have a good day.